we know that's not a good sound. Could have swore we just fixed that exact problem. Yeah. guys, I don't know what is going on with my RV engine. More on that in just a minute. Ooh, a little warm, let's go inside. Um, we're gonna come up with a solid game plan in this video t today. Uh, but first I wanna thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video today. I've been enjoying ExpressVPN for over three years now to safely secure both my phone and my laptop. ExpressVPN reroutes your network data through a secure server so it stays encrypted and safe. And you can choose from over 90 different countries to reroute your connection. There is a simple and easy to use app available right on your phone. Just open the app pick your location, tap connect, connect it, safe online. But online security is only one of the great benefits it provides. You guys know I love my Netflix on the road, but did you know that Netflix actually restricts some shows based on the region that you're accessing it from? There's hundreds of shows you can unlock by simply changing your location through ExpressVPN. I'll just switch my location to, say, Canada, and unlock all the laughs of Modern Family right here in the US. ExpressVPN simply allows you to enjoy everything you're already paying for. It's a no-brainer. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by clicking the link in the video description below, or going to expressvpn.com slash nomadic. And thanks again, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video. Let's go back outside and talk about this engine issue. Uh, trying not to let stuff get me down, but I could have swore we just took this engine apart and replaced camshaft, lifters, rocker arms, did all that, and it was working great for what did we get, like, like two days? Um, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, sunshine. A little warm here in uh, Columbia, Missouri. I called Wayne, I called Robert, talked to Sean a little bit, trying to find out what I should do, because we have the same problem returning, that sucks. I am here at a really nice harvest house. This is Serenity Valley Winery over there. I'm not much of a wine guy, but I do get to boondock here. Even though it's a warm day, it's 95 degrees. We got the AC going on solar in here. I only got two days on the road, and now I'm like, are we really gonna tear this engine up again? I don't know. Let me think about a few things here. Uh, Want to plan out some stuff. I'm halfway to Robert's place over in Kansas City. So I was also thinking about just going over there and see, speaking of Robert, there's a, there's a whole bussy there. That's what I need is a, a bus. Why would they bring a busload of people for the winery? I don't know. This road is really dusty too. Uh, so I want to I want to think about some stuff and play and uh, get back to you here. I, um, yeah, you see the kitties. Where's Dad's kitties? Terry, you don't have to run. Come here, baby girl. Yeah, Jax, how you doing, buddy? Well, Dad's gonna organize a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna organize. Oh, first I'm gonna feed the kitties. Yeah. Well, then let's get some bowls full. Let's get some bowls full for my babies. Let's take a break from Miranda. Let's unhook Tater Tot. Tater Tot is really dirty. Look at that. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of dirt roads here in Missouri. Ever since that one time the, uh, check, en the check engine light came on and I got that transmission code, I haven't had any similar problems uh, towing the smart car behind Miranda. But um, kitties are fine. They got air conditioning and food and everything they need. So, gosh, my mind's going a million miles an hour. What can you do, man? What can you do if you were in my place and you've done everything I've done to keep this RV rolling down the road and it just... <sighs> gosh, man, I, chan I, I feel bad. My subscribers are just leaving in droves. <laughs> like, it's gonna happen again today. They're like, oh, I'm just going back to the shop. I'm gonna park it for another two months. I'm gonna go follow a real travel channel, a real nomad. We have no control, guys. You have no control, I have no control. It doesn't matter how much you invest, you have zero control. It's true. You know, it must just be a Missouri thing. We're, we're back on a dirt road, and we... <laughs> there's a lot of dirt roads in Missouri. Hey, at least Tater Tot runs like a champ, right? I should be happy. Man. Look at this happy field full of sunflowers, y'all. Sunflowers everywhere. 
Ooh, I don't know how close I want to get, but I, this one's got two bees in it. You see them? Enjoying that nectar. All right, guys. Well, it's a really neat little area here. You guys can hear those cicadas still going crazy. I don't know when they quit. I don't know. But as we walk over this bridge, it looks like someone has possibly just made a camp right there. Oh, fire ring residue. The lake, oh, excuse me, it's a river. I can see it moving. It's actually a river. I mean, it doesn't look very clean right there. This would actually make for a really nice uh, bike trail, bike ride, all, all the way down here. Hang on. Somebody may have made camp back here. I see teepees or something. Wait a minute. Wait. What in the world? Um, okay. Not Stonehenge. Not car henge, but boat henge, everyone. <laughs> Very creative little display. I wonder how hard it was to bury these boats in the ground. Look at the weeds growing out of the center of it. Huh. Well, they're all different. See, that one's got the front of the boat in the ground. This one's got the back of the boat in the ground. Wow, weird art. Very, very strange art. Okay, there's something you definitely don't see every day. I know, I gotta figure out a game plan. Um, I was stressed when I, when I first got parked, but I'm gonna come up with a game plan. Uh, there's one antique thrift store, flea market place I wanna stop at on the way back to the RV before we see those kitties. So I'll get back to you when we get back to the Harvest Host there, guys. Yeehaw, they're partying over there, y'all. Hear the music? I'm gonna take care of the kitties and then go over there for a little bit as the sun is uh, oh, setting over there. Beautiful evening here in Missouri. Not too many mosquitoes. Talked with Wayne tonight and uh, he advised me that we should do another oil change. I should do another oil change. Switch up to uh, 10W30, a thicker weight of oil and see if we can fix, fix it naturally in there first. So that's where I'm at. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut back in here a little later tonight. want to go enjoy the festivities over there. Here we are, everyone. Want to sleep with me? Let's go sleep together, y'all. Actually, this Harvest House is really cool. It turns out, even though they're a winery, they have some craft beers. They have uh, five craft beers locally, and I tried all five of them. I'm actually feeling really good. Like, I'm feeling really good, y'all. Yeah, I needed that, I needed that. That's right, I sleep with my hat on. I sleep with my shoes on. If you've slept with me, you know. Well, Jackson slept with me, I know. Oh, no. That's not even true, Eric. Why do you lie? You're right. I don't. I don't sleep with my shoes or my hat on. I'm going to take it off right now. Oh, it's stuck. Never mind. We'll just... Tonight, I've been talking with Robert, Wayne, Sean, my buddy Andrew back in Washington State. Um, I have a new game plan, so I'm feeling a little better. I'm definitely going to... Um, there was a thing I was heading to, but I'm bypassing the thing. I'm gonna go see Robert tomorrow. But we're gonna go see Robert on a new route that I've never been. So we're gonna go see new stuff, but take care of Miranda. Try to take care of Miranda. I mean, I put so much into this RV. I'm just, man, they got some good beer here. Y'all, hey, have you, guys, have you guys tried their beer here? It's, it's pretty good. Good morning, everyone. Looks like I was slurring my words a little bit last night. That's good. I needed that. Needed to feel good. 
So, uh, new game plan, new mission. We've got to take care of Miranda once again. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know how many times I'm going to do this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, oh, I know, Jax. I know. He's hungry. He's hungry. Let me feed these precious kitties. Sweet baby Tara. What did you think of this harvest host, Tara Tara Bear? Yeah, you ready to hit the roads? Jax, 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 Jax. You ready to hit the road, big buddy? Did you sleep good? All right, man. You ain't right. Yep, gonna pack it up, put the slide back in, hit the road. We'll catch you in a few days. Bye, guys.